What's up guys? I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I bought my Sphinx Roswell like almost seven years ago, which is crazy. There's some things no one told me before I bought him that honestly, I kind of wish I would have known. This is Roswell. He is going to be seven years old in June. He's my number one. He normally has his eyes closed. Everyone online thinks that he's blind because he literally never opens his eyes. It just means he's relaxed. He's just chilling. All right, so there's some things that literally no one told me, and I just thought I would share that information with you. Maybe it'll help you a little bit. All right, guys, number one, the eye boogers. Yes, that's what I said, the eye boogers. No one told me about this, and honestly, when I first saw them, it freaked me out. It was disgusting. I didn't, I just didn't know about it. So anytime dirt gets in the eyes, they don't have the eyelashes to kind of like get that goop out. So basically it builds up in the little corners of the eye. It's like a brown reddish goopy. It's like, a, it's like a, what am I trying to say here? It's an eye bugger. I don't know what else to call it. Anyways, because they don't have the fur, what they do to get it out of their eyes is they shake their head and it literally flies like across the room. I don't know how it's possible. Um, I've literally found eye boogers on the ceiling, the windows, in my hair, on a painting that I had, on the floor, in your sheets, literally everywhere. Not all Sphinx do that. It's mainly the ones who are like completely, completely hairless, like major nakey. So watch out for that. Number two, guys, they eat a lot, like a lot, a way more than a normal cat. I totally spaced out. What was I even saying? Anyways, anyways, so they have to eat more basically to keep their body temperature up higher because they don't have the fur that like insulates them and keeps them warm. So they eat a lot more, which means, guess what? They use the bathroom a lot more. That means the cost is gonna be more because they're literally eating more and the litter is gonna be more. You're gonna be doing it more often. Didn't know about that. Number three, what is number three? Sphinx cats are known to have a lot more sensitive of a stomach than like a regular cat. So there's only like a few brands that have worked. So Royal Canin, I don't know how to say it. Is it Canin or Canon? I don't know. They've worked great. That's pretty much what Roswell has been eating for the last like seven years of his life, his whole life. The other one is, I can't remember at the top of my head, but it's a lot cheaper, but it actually the main ingredient is actually turkey. So that's cool. So number four, or is this number five? Number four. Their poop smells like really, really bad. It's gross. Get a litter robot. I need one really bad. I've heard that if you feed them more of a raw diet, their poop's not gonna smell as bad and they're not gonna be as oily either. I have not tried that with Roswell, but it's what I've read on the internet. All right, guys, number five. Sphinx are really oily. They need baths often. So because of that, anything they lay on or sit on, they're gonna get those oily stains and then dirt collects on them and you get the picture. Get used to wearing black. Pretty much just get rid of all your white clothes or sheets or furniture. They will never be white again. This is like the whitest thing I own and honestly, I don't even wear it that much because, especially around my cats, because they're gonna get it dirty and they're gonna ruin it. Yeah, this is why I can't have nice things. All right, guys, I hope that helped you maybe a little bit. Those were all things that no one ever told me and I kind of just had to find out on my own. But for real, Sphinx are literally one of the best cat breeds. I wouldn't trade those eye boogers for anything. Honestly, it's worth it to me. I and mean, I think a lot of people would agree with that. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. This is my first video and I guess we'll see you next time. Bye.